using both of my cameras at the same time as a pair of binoculars so if I see something you're gonna see it with both cameras clouds look pretty tonight it's an airplane Very pretty, the way the clouds are formed. <clears throat> Let's see what we can see tonight. I played the tones for a while, did the meditations. It is very cold now. is safe for me to lay down. <laughs> oh hey. Can you pulse light again? One more time, please. Hello, the clouds.
so those of you who are not used to the cold I highly recommend when you come out here at night you get yourself something called a neck gaiter it's like a turtleneck but just the neck part and it can cover your neck and it can cover your head with it a beanie along with that you wear two shirts uh, a tank top underneath your regular shirt and you tuck the tank top into your underwear and then you tank you tuck the regular shirt into your sweats or pants what that does is it makes uh, insulation and it keeps your heat in um, gloves are always a plus your hands are gonna get cold everything hurts a lot more when you're cold You'll be surprised on how well a cup of coffee, tea, or hot chocolate would do you. It'll do you a lot of good. Keep your insides warmer. And definitely wear a sweater or a jacket or both. Layers is the key to this. Otherwise, you're not going to have fun doing this. Oh. Thank you for coming. It is way too cold for freaking bugs to be flying around at night like this. It's not summertime anymore. get back on my chair get some different angles in it's been partially cloudy it was raining about two three nights ago now yesterday was super windy all my cameras got knocked off the tripods Hello, the clouds. Is there anybody out there? Can I please see you fly by? Besides that big dude right there. That aeroplane. Hopefully something flies around him. Port and starboard lights, and it looks like an arrow. That's why they call it an aeroplane. I'm usually up there recording. There is a buddy right there. As you can see, it's flying pretty fast. You saw that airplane fly by, and I'm able to track him longer. So that's definitely not any critter. Thank you, by the way, for showing yourself to me. I greatly appreciate that. Oh. Let's see if we can get more. That's an airplane. You see? And he's gearing to land at John Wayne Airport. So he's going about 500 miles an hour right here. 
and then when they get closer they got to drop their speeds down to about a hundred and something miles an hour and then they land as you saw that other thing flying really fast by that guy you know big difference in speeds and if an airplane is going 500 miles an hour and looking like that there's no way in hell a bat or a bird is going to be able to fly that fast that high using science you know through observation and we can just google speeds google speeds of airplanes landing airplanes and cruising speed compare it to the flight of animals the fastest a bird could fly I believe is about a hundred miles an hour but that's because he's diving into water to get a fish and I don't see a lot of water around here so yeah definitely not any of that stuff an insect would be flying around my garden area right here you would see moths wings or something like that you do not see that so we're just trying to rule it all out Ugh. I'm gonna have to start this video over we're at 11 minutes I like to keep it around under 10